You'll find that in most modern engine compartments, there's not much access to the serpentine belt system, all the accessories and idler pulleys that are part of it. And this is a small engine here, this 2.5 liter Ford Fusion. Larger engine, it's even worse. And even if you could reach it with a stethoscope, would you want to? And the whole idea of this video is, do you need to? The answer is no. All of the information that you would need of all the accessories and pulleys on the serpentine can be derived from one spot. This device in contact here on a bracket that mounts on the engine block will carry all the information of that serpentine system. All you need is a device like this build, this design, that is sensitive enough to do it. And you also need the know-how, how to capture a waveform like this and to interpret the information contained within it. I'm using the Lodo OSC482 oscilloscope for this. Combined with the 8-scope Android app, I'm using the FFT mode. I'm at 4 kilohertz, and I'm using the default handing window. So there we go. Just stop that. take a close look at this. All of the information about all the accessories and the pulleys and the serpentine system are contained in this graph here. So all we need is the ability to interpret it. We'll start at the bookends from the largest pulley that turns the slowest to the smallest pulley that turns the fastest. Of course the slowest turning and largest pulley is on the harmonic balancer which is directly connected to the crankshaft. It's turning at the engine RPM. You divide that by 60 and you end up with 18 hertz. So there at 18 is your harmonic balancer, the crankshaft. At the other end of the spectrum, at 72 hertz, exactly four times the speed of the crankshaft is the alternator. That's very typical that the alternator would go between three to four times the speed of the crank. What does the 27 and 36 hertz represent? Well, if you take a look in here, you would see that the pulley on the AC compressor is slightly larger than the pulley on the water pump. So it would be turning slower at 27 hertz. The water pump would be turning at 36 hertz. The two small idlers on the system are the 45 and 63 hertz. The outlier at 108 hertz is the serpentine belt, that whining, high-pitched sound is being picked up here. It's all there, nice, in detail, and you just had to take one reading at one location. If there was a problem with any of these components, they would be shooting straight up. If there was an idler problem, it would be uh, showing a big spike at that frequency. And you'd know if it was the smaller idler or the larger idler. It's a quick and safe and powerful approach to analyzing the serpentine belt system. You saw it here on the gadgets playlist. You guys take care.